So here we are back, it's week number three, the first week of June 2016, and we're getting our crimper roller out once again. So, fingers crossed, this time we will have more of an effect on the crushing of the rye and the vetch. Remember this is rye and vetch sown last autumn, and we're now some months on trying to kill it with a crimper roller. So we're trying to get away from using a herbicide to kill this crop and use a mechanical means, which is really fast and really cheap. So we haven't quite got it right yet because the crop has been too supple and it's sprung back up again. So this week, we're hoping we're a little bit closer. Not sure, so let's have a look and see how it does. Okay, so it certainly flattened it, but after our experience last week where it popped back up, this week it looks as if it's still pretty supple and I just don't think we're quite there yet. And the Americans that have done this work before us say that we need to have the rye being a sort of milky dough stage, which we're just not quite there. This, these grains are not yet forming. The vetches are beginning to flower, as you can see, but they're not fully flowering. So I think we're a little way off. Anyway, let's go and put the drill on now and see whether the drill will cut through this. So this drill we've got here is the same width as the crimper roller. It has um, a set of discs at the front and quarters at the back. So the idea is that we'll cut through and we'll go in the same direction as the roller has laid our rye vetch crop. So well, let's see whether it works. We need to get plenty of weight on the roller, which we've got, it weighs about a tonne. And of course, we need to get the drill to cut through this material. So this is the moment of truth. No, it's blocked it. And this is what we were worried about. We just weren't sure whether we'd be able to cut through the material uh, without the drill bunging up. Now, all's not lost. This is the first time we've done it. And I think the first time we've used this drill in this particular situation. So I think what we'll do now is we'll put more pressure on those discs at the front to try and cut through the soil uh, and to get those colders in behind. And hopefully that'll stop it blocking up. Now it might be, we just have to leave it a couple of weeks. Who knows, but let's see. So back next week, I'm afraid.